Victor Kilo 3, Echo Alpha Romeo. Victor Kilo 3, Echo Alpha Romeo calling CQ Soda. I'm going to make up a 40 and 20 meter linked dipole for my friend Owen. This is a 20 meter dipole, about 5 meters of wire either side with a link that can be opened or closed, and another 5.1 metres of wire either side. With the links open, 20 metres. With the links closed, you've got resonance on 40 metres. First thing to do is to make up the centrepiece and the two 20 metre, 5 metre lengths. I'll show you the centre insulator later on. And it's easy just to hoist a pretty small 20 metre dipole in the backyard. The coax is long enough to get me inside the shack. And with the nano VNA, it's easy to check resonance. And with a little bit of pruning, I've got it down to about 1.27 at 14.2. So far so good. Now to make up the links. So for the links I'm using these bullet connectors. A small scrap of printed circuit board makes the insulator as part of the link assembly. Now add the two 40 metre 5.1 metre lengths on the outside of the link. The end insulator is another scrap of printed circuit board. And here I'm just doubling about 15 centimetres of wire back on itself in case I need to lengthen it to bring its resonance down. So with the link closed, we can check resonance on the 40 meter dipole and look at that 1.02 to 1 at 7120. Isn't that good? Up around 7200, it's 1.4. Down at the CW end, it's about 1.2. So with cycle 25 hotting up, I wanted to add a higher band. Well, you can just keep chopping into the 20 meter dipole to do that, but I've known for a long time that it was possible to use a 40 meter half wave dipole on 21 megahertz on 15 meters, because 21 megahertz is the third harmonic of seven, right? A quick search on the topic turned up this page from Soda Beams, in which they describe that a 40 meter dipole will always resonate too high on the high side of the 21 MHz amateur band. And you will need to do something to bring its resonance down in frequency. First thing to do was to measure the resonance of my 40 meter dipole on 15 meters and verify the claim that it would be too long. So here's the 40 meter dipole as measured on 21 MHz. And I haven't adjusted the sweep parameters. And so we're right on the edge of the display, but you can see that SWR is a minimum around about there. It's 1.5 to 1, and that's at 21.96 megahertz, nearly 22 megahertz. So there is a resonance there, but it's way too high. It's nearly a megahertz too high. Because you have the break there ready to be utilized. So I made up two 1.1 microhenry inductors around about 11 turns wound on to 20 millimeter PVC tubing sections. I added the same bullet connectors. Checking them on the LC meter. Now it's just a matter of inserting them at the link. And now with 1.1 microhenry inductors in at the link point, the SWR at 21.3 is down to 1.2 to 1.
time for a field test. So hook that on there. Yeah, so I'm going to put this through the tie and that'll help keep it off to one side. Okay, that should be fine. So there's the yep. sender insulator. With detachable legs. Strain relief, yeah. And strain and relief, strain which hopefully won't detach when it's up in the air. <laughs> Righto, yeah, hoist up, it up. Up and away. Victor Kilo 3, Echo Alpha Romeo. Victor Kilo 3, Echo Alpha Romeo, calling CQ soda. VK1 Mike Alpha, you're a 5 and 8 here. 5 and 8, uh, QSL? Roger, thanks for the 5 and 8. You are 5 and 4, 54 on peak, over. Thank you very much for uh, activating the WA. A VK3 Echo Alpha Romeo, VK1 Mike Alpha. Good luck with your activation there. I hope you get to nothing today. Unfortunately, HF band conditions were poor. We all got our contacts, but there was no point in trying 21 megahertz. But the fact that the antenna resonates as a one and a half wavelength on 21 megahertz assures us that it will work fine when band conditions open.